Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about the second phase of the Dragonflight pre-patch and I will explain how you can get a new pet called the Primal Stormling that will only be available during the two next weeks. I will also try to explain whether this pet is worth farming and if it's gonna be worth anything later in Dragonflight and simply how you can get it. So, in order to get this pet, it's very easy. When you are going to logging in any of your characters, you will receive a quest asking you to go in the main capital, so Storwin or Orgrimmar. When you are there, you will have to like, complete a few quests that just requires you to go talk to a few people in the main capital. And after maybe 10 minutes, when you are done with all these different quests, you will be requested to go talk to Khadgar, either in the different docks or in Durotar where there is the Zeppelin. Here, Khadgar will give you one quest that is very simple to uh, complete. All you want to do is go in one in the primal invasion and here you want to kill 10 mobs from the different invasions. And after that, you will be able to come back and to get the pet as a reward. So this is really something easy that you can do on all your different characters and this is something that you can do once per character you will only get one pet per character so this pet is very similar to all the different pets that were also available during all the different pre-patch events this one is just a little bit different because the other ones basically you were able to buy them directly with the currency that uh, is available with the pre-patch event so here this is the primeval essence here, this is something that you will only be able to get again once per character, so it makes it a little bit more difficult, let's say, to get. But when it comes to the value, I don't think there's going to have a lot of differences with the pets from uh, the over pre-patch events. So if we take, for instance, the example of the putrid case, this is the pet that was available during the pre-patch event for Shadowlands. As you can see, this one is really still worth uh, nothing on most realms, and so really this is not something that uh, people will be able to make a lot of gold with. When it comes to the Felbat pup, uh, I think it was the event, the pre patch event for Legion, or for Battle for Azeroth. Anyway, this one is very similar. Uh, it's not really worth anything, maybe just a little bit more than the Putride case, but not really a lot more. So. I think overall, uh, this one, the Primal Stormling, is definitely going to be uh, something you want to have, maybe like two or three of them. But I don't think the prices are going to be very interesting, even like in a year or two from now, simply because it's very easy to get. And this is something that uh, everyone will at least get one. And so not a lot of people will be interested in actually buying these different pets. Again, this one is a little bit more tricky to get because this is only once per character and you need to do the quest. So you need to also do all the quest line before that. So it will take maybe like 10 to 15 minutes uh, if you want to get another one per character. But again, overall, I think this is really something you should just do maybe like a couple of times on some of your rerolls uh, to get a few of them. But it's not going to be worth a lot of uh, gold even like in a few days from now and I don't think it's going to be worth maybe like a year from now in Dragonflight. So once you have your pet in order to sell it all you want to do is click on it, learn it and then here you want to basically click on put in a cage and like that you will be able to then sell it on the auction house. So this is really the easiest way to do it. Um, you can do that on different realms. So for instance, you can learn it on one realm and then cage it on another realm. So if you want, you can always sell these pets on multiple realms. So that's going to be pretty much it. I would really still recommend you to get a few of them, uh, but maybe not to spend hours farming for these pets because it's not going to be that interesting. Uh, all, unfortunately, this is really the only opportunity we have uh, when it comes to making some gold with the pre-patch event, at least the second phase. So this is really the only thing you can really do right now. Uh, but yeah, so I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a very great week. Bye.